What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, uh, I decided to do something I've been wanting to do on this channel for quite some time and that is more reptile product reviews. Um, I do want to be making food reviews as you can see, I do have some selections of different foods for bearded dragons, but in today's video, I'm going to be putting them to the test to see which one my bearded dragons like. And no, I'm not going to be eating them, but if you really want to see me eat bearded dragon food, smash that thumbs up like button. Maybe I'll put milk in this. Like, this looks like cereal. If you want to see me eat this with milk, we have to hit 2,000 likes. I'm not even joking. If, I, would, I would actually eat this with milk. Like, if you want to see me eat this with milk... <laughs> No, seriously, if you want to see me eat bearded dragon food, 2,000 likes on this video and I'll do it. I'm not even joking. Like, otherwise, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to make any real promises. But uh, honestly, I, I really wanted to do a product review for my bearded dragons. And as you can see, I have three different types at three different price ranges. This one right here, I believe, was $25. And this one right here was $15 and this was $10. So obviously this one costs more because it's a lot bigger. But as you can see, my bearded dragons are all like, ooh, there's going to be food here. So when it comes to bearded dragons diets, it's very important that you feed your bearded dragons a variety of live insects as well as different types of veggies. But because we are in quarantine, and you know the food might be a little bit more harder to get i did want to give these dry foods a try to see if there's actually any benefit in having this in my shelves so i do see that this is doesn't look like natural things but i'm going to read the ingredients this one says that it has freeze dry mealworms freeze dry crickets corn chicken meal Oh, okay, now I don't know about that. We got coconut oil, we got fructose, we got calcium, and then we got a whole bunch of other things like salt and and whatnot. But this one, honestly, I, I don't know. I, when it comes to the ingredients, you know, I'll you know, you guys could look at this at a better angle. There you go. Take a screenshot, pause the video. But when it comes to the ingredients, this doesn't really sound like something that you want to feed your bearded dragons. Maybe as backup, you know, in case like there is no crickets for months, there's nothing for them to eat. I might have to go for this. Um, let's see this right here. All right, ingredients. This is more or less what I wanted to see as ingredients. Okay, so as you can see, the ingredients are freeze dried, Mealworms, freeze-dried grasshoppers, freeze-dried crickets, nothing else. Look at the comparison on the ingredients. Like, this is literally a whole paragraph of different, I don't even know what the hell. Like, so, like, what the hell? Like, this looks like my my, my uh, chemistry class. Like, what what is this? Like, this is, okay. But this is, like, more natural, I guess, even though it is dried up fruit. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, if you are in need and in an emergency, I would have something um, dried in stock. I haven't tried any of these, so I wouldn't say, hey, uh, do this, put only feed this to your bearded dragons. I'm just testing it out. I, this is the first time me ever using this. If anything, I do like using uh, Ripashi as I find it has a little bit more um, different types of ingredients and it's a little bit more uh, easier to use. Where this, I've never tried it, but it does look like they use real insects. Um, when it comes to this, on the other hand, this looks a little bit interesting because it has all these pellets as well as it has these mealworms and it also has what it looks like a whole bunch of different types of flowers. So if we zoom in, that looks like there's flowers in there. That's kind of cool, but I don't know if my bearded dragons are going to like it. And if we look at the ingredients, okay, so this is sort of neat that they do this. Um, they have the different types of levels of protein, different fats. So it does look like they have a good variety of it. And that right there is just a little bit of the instructions. Oh my God, <laughs> look at the ingredients. I don't know. I don't know if, like, if this is what a burger to me was like, like, what in the world? Okay, let's just read a few. 
Um, you know, this says it has blueberries. Okay, that's cool. It has raisin bran. It has uh, dried lima beans. <laughs> like, what the hell? Alfalfa meal. Okay, soybean meal. We got wheat. Okay, we got a whole bunch of different things. And honestly, some of the things I don't can't even pronounce. Like, what the hell? Horseradish? Why is there horseradish in here? What the? What, what are we making? A hot dog? Z what? There's yucca? What? Like, honestly, like, there's so many different things in here. All we have it needed to say is, like, we have shawarma. And then I'll probably be eating it. But, like, there's so many different ingredients in here that I... Rosemary extract, like, okay, I, I honestly don't even know, but like, it has a picture of a bearded dragon. It says bearded dragon food, and it's made by Zoomed, a well trusted, you know, reptile company. So I don't see why, you know, they would make something that's not safe for bearded dragons. So I am going to give it a try to see if my bearded dragons like it. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever tried this. I have not tried this yet. <laughs> so, with that being said, enough of me talking. Let's get on with the food review and see if my bearded dragons want to eat this. Let's go. Okay, so the very first one we're going to try is right here. We got the Medellin treats. So, this is supposed to be treats for bearded dragons. Um, this one cost me $10. So we're gonna see if my bearded dragons want to have these treats. It just looks like horn, like it's really just dried up. Like what the hell is this? Oh god. <laughs> okay, we don't have these. Maybe you guys have them in your country, um, but I've never seen pet shops carry this live. It's just grasshoppers, but or it looks like grasshoppers. Let's see if my bearded dragons want this. I can see this being like topped on a salad. But right now, my bearded dragons don't really know what the hell is going on. Okay, we got Brienne coming up. Come on, Brienne. You want one? And honestly, that's how you know my bearded dragons have never... Okay. Yes. Eat it. Eat it. Yes. She's like, ugh, what the... <laughs> she's so confused. It's literally like she's eating a cracker. But honestly, if she eats it, I know that Brienne is gonna... Or someone's gonna eat it. Like, anyone else want... Sansa, what's wrong? You know what? Sansa looks really done with this video already. Okay, here you go. Have another one. Okay, so I would say that this is sort of a success in the sense that it does look like it's something that they would enjoy. So you can see Penelope over here is just chowing away at uh, the different types of meal. Sansa does not look interested at all. She looks a little bit like, like, hey, I don't want to be in this video. <laughs> What's wrong, Santa? Why are you staring at me like that? There you go. What's wrong? Honestly, I would say that this is, I would say it's a success. Even though these girls are not eating it, it does look like it's something that a bearded dragon would want to consume. Um, however, you know, because it's dried up, it's not something that you should always be giving your bearded dragon every single day, maybe top it on their salad, or maybe have it as an emergency, as it is a, you know, kind of a all natural thing. So I would give this um, a thumbs up in the sense that she is enjoying it. So with that being said, let's move on to the next one. Let's go. Okay, so up next, we have this buffet blend for adult bearded dragons. And as you can see, this is the one that had a whole bunch of ingredients and it's a whole, it doesn't even look natural. It looks like cereal for bearded dragons. <laughs> so let's see if any of my reptiles want to eat this. So it actually looks like Cheetos. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like I would probably eat this. <laughs> okay, anyone want to eat this? Let's move it around. Like, like I said, this could be kind of good. It kind of matches the, the towel. Anyone? Anyone want to eat this? Looks like Cheetos. Hey, you want Cheetos? Oh, she's making a movement. Okay, come on. Someone eat this. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hey, okay. Sharing is caring. Here. Take some. Okay. 
It really does look like this is something that they would like to eat. However, I would not give this to a baby bearded dragon. And honestly, it seems very hard. So I'm gonna see if the ingredients... Here you go, who wants it? <laughs> hey, hey, stop trying to eat. Yeah, see, she's like, don't try to eat her food. Here you go, here you go, BB, here. Here you go. <laughs> okay, so honestly, when it comes to this, um, I would say that they enjoy it. However, in the instructions, it says to feed 22 of this to a beer, bearded dragon. I don't see how 22, like, look, there's not even 22. That looks like a lot. So I don't see how that would really benefit a bearded dragon. So. Uh, I would use this maybe as treats if bearded dragons like it and at the same time it is tough So I wouldn't feed a, a, a bearded dragon. That's young. Maybe they have one for juveniles, but um, Maybe if you wet this you could use this as an emergency to feed your bearded dragons But it really looks like they're eating Cheetos like it, it doesn't feel like I'm feeding them something natural which Honestly, I don't want to see the poop. I don't want to know what it's gonna be like, but apparently this is bearded dragon food so uh, i did want to see if they would enjoy it and it does look like they do actually like it like we even had bb here eating it and she's like a little bit picky when it comes to things like that like look at that it's literally like eating a chip <laughs> so i would say this also gets a thumbs up however i would not overdo it when it comes to the feeding as this is not really i don't know it doesn't seem too natural um, to be feeding it, but they do have little tiny things in here. Like, what the hell is this? What is this? <laughs> Ew. Okay, I guess you could feed this to a bearded dragon. Ah, so this would not replace a live cricket in any source, but as an emergency, I guess this is bearded dragon food. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think uh, if this is something that you would feed your bearded dragon. Okay, so up next we have this bearded dragon food and as you can see BB is actually trying to get at it from behind <laughs> Like it, like it kind of looks like BB's in the picture <laughs> But this right here was the most expensive one which cost me $25 However, I'm pretty sure if it was a bit shorter it would be a little bit cheaper But this one does have different things as well and it's made by ZooMed So I want to see if my bearded dragons actually like this so let me give them some okay so let me just pour some in here okay immediately that has an intense smell compared to the rest and i think that's what's getting my bearded dragons intrigued like even bb is like kind of confused she's like can i eat this she's like can i actually eat this <laughs> like yes you could eat this apparently here have some but it has like an aroma of flowers, which I don't know, man. Like for me, like this kind of smells good. I'm not gonna lie. Like this is the best smelling one. Like what is this? Is this a rock? Like can you eat this? Ew, ew, ew. Oh, this is a blueberry. <laughs> what the hell? I'm like, ew, why is this squishy? This is, I guess, a blueberry. So let me see. Could you guys eat this? Who wants this? It's a blueberry. Yes, you eat that. <laughs> so it does have flowers and blueberries. So I do think bearded dragons would enjoy this. Look at that, she just ate a flower. <laughs> so honestly, this one kind of has a good variety of different things. It has some dried mealworms as well as some pellets, some blueberries. As you can see, this dried up blueberry right here. And then it has um, to top it off some flower or dried off flowers. So I don't know to me My bearded dragons aren't going crazy for it But if they were hungry hungry, which sometimes they get hungry hungry and you know So as an emergency I could see someone having this in their shelf So I would give this a thumbs up simply for the fact that it has blueberries which happens to be BB's favorite um, she's eating them all <laughs> as you can see there's another one here. She'll probably eat it too 
My bearded dragons love blueberries, so the fact that it has this dried up blueberries, I could see my bearded dragons actually enjoying it. You could see <laughs> Penelope's eating it. Brienne didn't want anything to do with this video or any of these other things that I have, but that doesn't mean that she won't like it. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have ever tried this. Um, and also hit me up on Instagram and let me know if you guys do purchase this. They do sell them on Amazon, I believe, and your local pet shop. Let me know what you guys think. Ooh, Brienne wants to know. Wants, wants a taste of it. Oh, no, she doesn't. She just wants to block the shot. <laughs> but with that being said, that is it for this product review. I did review all three of these. Well, my bearded dragons did. Um, and it did look like they did enjoy some of them for the most part, you know. So I'm really happy and satisfied with the results as I might be keeping some of these as backup just in case I run out of crickets and this is the only thing I have left. So with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm Lord of Lion. These are my bearded dragons. Brienne, BB, and Penelope. <laughs> it looks like BB right there. But with that being said, that is it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm Lord of Lion. Keep the blood pumping. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification.